Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to trim your auger on a SpreadSmart closed loop system. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. Maintain a safe distance from the truck's mechanical components. Be mindful that spreader implements may be moving. Turn on your device through the power switch on the toggle keypad. To access your configuration menu, push both the auger and pre-wet switches down simultaneously. You will then be asked for a password. Use the spinner controls to change the digits and use the blast or pause controls to change the cursor position. At factory default, the password will be 9000. Refer to your supervisor if your password has been changed. I will use the spinner control to change the first digit to 9 and then use the pause control to run the cursor past the end of the password to access the configuration menu. On some keypads, the pause switch may be labeled as pass. For this application, they mean the same thing. Use the spinner switch to scroll down to trim cow. Use the pause control to select it. Select auger using the pause control. We can select either minimum trim or maximum trim from this menu. Selecting either of the two will set us up to trim both minimum and maximum values. I will use the spinner control to scroll to minimum trim. Then I will use the pause control to select it. You will get a warning message saying that the auger will engage, keep personnel clear. You will also have to choose between automatic and manual calibration. First, I will go over the automatic calibration. After that, I will go over the manual calibration. Select automatic calibration using the pause control and a notification message will pop up reminding you that you have to make sure your engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. Press the pause control to proceed. After this time countdown, the trim calibration process will begin. We will not have to do anything else until it is done. This will calibrate both the minimum and maximum trims. The pulse per minute count is evidence of an auger sensor in the system. Once it is done, your new minimum and maximum trim values will be on the screen. Press pause to accept or blast to cancel and start over. I will accept these new values. You can now see updated values for minimum and maximum trims. Now I will go over trimming the auger manually. Select manual calibration using the spinner and pause switches. You will see a five-step process on the screen of what we are about to do. First, bring the truck engine to about 1200 to 1400 RPM, adjust minimum auger output until it begins moving consistently, press the pause switch to confirm it, adjust the maximum auger output until the auger is moving at maximum speed, and pressing pause to save, but first, press pause to begin. Increase your auger using the auger switch on the keypad until it begins to move consistently. Pushing the switch once will increase your output by a 0.1% increment. Material will begin falling. Press pause to confirm. Increase your auger output using the auger switch until you achieve maximum pulses per minute count.
Press pause to confirm. Your new minimum and maximum trim values will be on the screen. Press pause to accept or blast to cancel and start over. I will accept these new values. You can now see updated values for minimum and maximum trims. Press blast to be done with the setup. Continue to press blast until your new settings get saved. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.